Every game I want to be a killer. The sky's the limit for Dusty. COVID hit. Nobody saw him for a whole year. We didn't think there was going to be a season. He was working on his body, transformed his vertical jump. Wasn't going to let anyone take anything from me. I continue to play for that little kid who had those dreams and aspirations. I hope that he is able to sing for you guys. I miss the way you used to love me. Stand back when I catch fire. Once he can overwhelm people being physical with him, like, sky's the limit. <laughs> Dusty is uh, a hardworking, uh, charismatic, really talented kid. I've coached a lot of great players. I've coached an NBA player. He's got the potential to be a lead person on a team. There's no prima donna aspect of him. Like, he's good with all of his teammates. Dusty's willingness to go hard every day, to play hard and compete, every possession is pretty special. <laughs> We came out here and we battled and that's all we could do. You know, it's a good team. We could have made a couple more shots in the second half. I know they have a good player on their team, so I was trying to, you know, lock him down a little bit. I always, you know, take accountability for the loss. I could have attacked more, you know, I could have rebounded more. I thought I defended pretty well. I thought I ran the floor well. That game tying layup, put it in overtime, that was, that was a good one. Coach drew it up in the timeout. We came off the drag screen, went up and I made the layup. We didn't get enough stops after that. Hopefully we'll see him again and hopefully we'll get the win next time. What's going on? We're here at my boy PJF's house. About to get some work in. Nobody saw him for a whole year. He was in here working on his body, transformed his vertical jump during that time. I think overall it was really good for him. He let his body mature. It came to sophomore year and COVID hit. Me and my family didn't really know what to do because we didn't think that there was gonna be a season. So we decided to take that year off and I would just train. Six, seven. Coming back, I was just super excited to be able to play with refs and 10 guys on the court. I just wasn't gonna let anyone take anything from me and take the spotlight from me. So the knee is almost straight and then it's just breaking from the hip. Yeah. Dusty can fit in anywhere. He has ball skills, so he can go on ball, but he can go off ball. Fast, he's agile, he's got good footwork. Boom, flip it up, stabilize it as quick as you can. Quick flip. So we got to get him to fill out a little bit. And so I want to put a good 10 pounds of muscle on him, but we got to make sure that we do that gradually so that he doesn't lose his bounce. Four, five, six, seven, 30 seconds off. He's very springy. He gets off the ground really, really quick. Big rotation. Boom, 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 three, four. Basketball is a game of rhythm. Footwork is rhythm. I think Dusty's rhythm came from his musical background. Okay, Tuesday. It'll be a little sore tomorrow, but you'll be good by Monday. What's the idea of like lifting and like being sore when you play? It's bad? Yeah. These NBA guys. They get used to it and they also don't lift that hard. They'll lift game day, but it's like, you know, 20 minutes. The new trend in the league is lifting after games. He's an overall great person. Talented off the court to be that good at all that stuff and then still be very humble and down to earth. So sky's the limit for Dusty. We just wrapped up here with my boy PJF. Got a good workout in, now we're about to head home. My brother's best friend, he sort of got me into basketball and taught me how to shoot, taught me how to dribble. I've always been pretty tall for my age. I played a lot of point guard growing up. I think two guard and, and shooting guard is what I want to do. Oh, heads up. What's good, boys? What's good, man? What's good, bro? What's good, what's Y'all ready, ready to play some points? Starting off nice and easy. Oh! I have no chat at all. Oh! 
Oh my god. Oh! oh. Damn, bro. No way, bro. <laughs> he is overrated. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Myself. Everybody watch crazy. <laughs> he really has no bounce. Next point where. Okay. Yeah, so this studio my dad built for me and my brother. So the song that I wrote with my brother, it was really fun to just come in here and brainstorm and I helped write the song with him and then did the sang on it. I, I really love like older kind of R&B, like, like Eric Badu and all these people. I miss the way you used to love me. Oh baby, can we please not fight? I miss the way you used to love me Oh baby, can we please not fight? I would release it if I knew how and I guess I'll figure that out soon. I mean, recruiting has been crazy. Schools that I've been watching on TV since I was little are reaching out to me, and I'm very grateful for it. I'm open to, you know, everyone as of right now. Arizona, Gonzaga, UCLA, Houston, USC, Texas Tech, Illinois, Louisville. Every school that I've been to has been amazing, and, and my parents have loved all of them. It's, it's going to be a tough decision when it all comes down to it. I think one of the main goals is to become a McDonald's All-American. Another one would be like California State Player of the Year, you know, try to win a ring in the CIF playoffs. I'm really hard on myself as far as like what I want to accomplish and I think the standards for myself are higher than the standards that everyone else has for me. I think my work ethic is always improving. Every game's a battle and, and you have to bring your best self every time you step out on the floor. You know, I'm lucky to have such a good coach and, and mentor. Biggest role model, probably have to be my grandpa. He uh, co-founded the Indiana Pacers. Just being around him and, and his love for the game inspired me when I was little, just his work ethic. And we would ask him how he was feeling. He'd be like, I'm 100%. Even when you, we could tell he was pretty sick and, and going through some hard stuff. And the fact that somebody could just never feel bad for himself and never, you know, complain about anything. Here's my sneaker collection right here. First, we'll go to my favorite shoe ever, Kobe's. This model, Undefeated. I have a lot of memories playing in this shoe right here. These Kobe's right here are my favorite right now. The Grinches. Yeah, I can't play in anything other than Kobe's. These are sick. And then we'll go to the Bruce Lee's. Some more Kobe's. But also, I like Bruce Lee's. These are must-have dunks. I've never worn these before. They're Louis Vuitton. The Obsidian ones. I like ones a lot. I haven't worn these yet. Supreme Air Force ones. I wear these to school a lot as well. The Yeezy slides. The most comfortable shoe I've ever worn in my life. I didn't even know that I had these. I love this shoe. I would never take it off. Pretty sick, if you ask me. I don't have these shoes anymore. The LeBrons. One of my favorite shoes of all time. I thought they were sick when I was little. The Sharif Cooper Kobe's. A lot of buckets were given in these shoes. That's it. I love the game so much. Every game I want to win, every game I want to be a killer. I mean, I want to be the best. And that's pretty much what drives me. I play it for like a little kid that had the basketball dreams of being an NBA player, you know, when I was seven. I continue to play for that little kid who had those dreams and aspirations.
Oh my bad. I didn't even. Come on, y'all. Y'all just be sneaking up on me. All right, all right, all right. Just watch these videos right here. Subscribe, and then we'll get back to the dancing. <laughs>